So I think that there's really this myth around that tragedies bring families together and that when someone dies, you know, everyone gets closer and everyone leans on each other and supports each other. And for my family, I always say it was completely the opposite. We all were struggling in our own unique ways and none of us were really able to articulate that to each other or or lean on each other for support. So I think I became really, really isolated because my sister, who's only about two and a half years older than me, but my brother, who's much well over 10 years older than me, all of us were dealing with it in our own different ways. And for a long time, it was really hard for any of us to talk to each other about it. And that, and I'm thankfully now, like my siblings and I are a lot closer and we talk about our dad a lot to each other and we talk about all the things we miss and all the things that are hard now. And I'm, I'm really fortunate that, you know, we can we can have those close bonds, especially with what has happened to us. But for a really long time, that, that wasn't the case in my family. There was a lot of dysfunction. There's a lot of, let's not talk about the grief. Let's not talk about him. Let's not talk about how he died. Basically just trying to erase him and pretend like it didn't happen. Um, and I think also being the youngest too, I... I understand now, like for my siblings and my mom, it was an impossible situation to be put in. Like, like what do you do, you know, in a, in a situation like this when you have a, a kid that's so young, like it's impossible to know how to talk to them or know what to do. And I know for my dad, he never wanted me to see him suffer. He didn't want me to see him in pain. He didn't want me to worry and he didn't want to be a burden to us. So I understand now like why things were the way they were. Um, but it was also like when I started to actually grieve and, and start to try to like confront a lot of the complex emotions I was feeling, it was really hard because I actually didn't really understand about a lot about what my dad had gone through or how he was sick and why he got sick and how he died and everything in between. And so there are a lot of like, I always say like holes that I, I just couldn't understand that really impacted the way that I grieved and I think also just feeling just started to feel a lot of powerlessness um I always felt really powerless when he was sick but after he died like it just became like this hopelessness that there was nothing I could do I was so young I didn't I I couldn't go to work I couldn't do anything to support my family and my dad in that way and for a long time I carried a lot of guilt like what if I was older what if I had a job what if I had an education what if I knew more about where to take him or the things to help him like it was it was a lot of uh that really overwhelming intense guilt that I dealt with for most of my teenage years while while I was just trying to grieve and it was really it was really difficult